Hey guys, it's Tasha. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take this client's hair who has pretty long hair. It's thin and fine and it doesn't really have a style or shape to it. I want to show you guys what I do and what you can get done to make your thin, fine hair with no style look like it actually is fuller and healthier and thicker and you'd be surprised how much different it makes your hair look by taking off your length if you have really thin hair. Um, it literally completely transforms the way that your hair looks. It looks like it's healthier like I said and it looks full and it looks like you have an actual hairstyle instead of just someone who has thin hair who's trying to hold on to it and get length even though it's thin. Sometimes you just have to accept the fact that you're not born with hair that can be super long and thick and you have to just cut it to a style that more better suits the hair type that you have. And this client also has pretty thin hair around the front of her face. That's just the way her hair naturally grows. It doesn't really have anything to do with the fact that she has blonde in her hair. Her hair has always just been um, thinner on the sides and it doesn't get longer. Like it just, it just doesn't get past a certain length. So it's always shorter in the front and then kind of longer in the back. So sometimes she feels like she kind of has like a mullet style going on with the short in the, fr in the front and then the longer in the back. So we wanted to bring the back up to match closer to the length in the front so then, like I said, it's one cohesive hairstyle. And yeah, so I just started off by sectioning from the top of the head to just behind the ears and then I left that out from the front. And I'm working at the back as you can see. Now depending how much hair they have will depend how many sections you need to take. Um, like I said before, her hair is pretty thin so I'm only going to take about two or three sections while I work my way up the back of the head and I'm just taking a little bit of each side from the section and bringing it to the center just to make sure it's even. Um, once I do that I always tilt the head down and this is what I call the underbelly under here. Whenever you do a haircut you always want to tilt the head down either after the first section you cut or after you're done the whole entire thing. You tilt the head down tell them to look at their toes and there will be stray either longer hairs or just hairs that get left under there and once you t tilt the head down they will pop out and you can just trim those off the bottom. I always have called that the underbelly. Um, so once you do that you can tilt the head back up and then continue on in your next sections. Um, you want to be able to see through the section so that you can see your guide from your first section so you just take however much hair you need to so that you can see the, the guide underneath and then you just continue that up the head. As you can see this isn't really a video of showing you how to do this on yourself but this is a video that you could follow if you want to do this haircut on someone that you know, maybe a friend or a family member. Um, yeah, so you can follow what I'm doing and then you can transform someone's hair or you can just watch this video to get an idea if you have thinner hair and you want to see what it looks like to cut from longer hair to shorter hair to see how much more stylish and more healthy and more fuller and thicker that your hair can look by taking off the length. Um, yeah, you can just use this as a video to look and see and maybe get an idea of the kind of haircut that you would want to try if you have thinner hair. I know for some people, or well, actually a lot of people, I mean everyone at some point in their life I'm sure wants to have long, thick, beautiful hair, but honestly you can have beautiful hair even if it's a shorter length. It doesn't have to be super long and you can make it look fuller by taking it shorter. Um, because not everyone is blessed with super thick, thick hair, so we just have to work with what we have, you know what I mean? Um, and if you're trying to hold on to a style that isn't best suited for your hair type, it's not going to flatter your hair. Try and stick to styles that are more better suited for the hair type that you have so that you can make it look as best as you possibly can and keep it as healthy as you, as you can. So as you can see, now I'm just connecting what I did in the back to the front. So she only has a very little bit of hair, so I'm just barely cutting the ends off of the front here. So I'm just... I'm grabbing a little bit of the front section and a little bit of the back section and connecting the two and following the line all the way to the front. 
And again here, I'm just tilting the head to the side, or yep, all the way over to the side, and I'm just cutting the little underbelly off there, and then I just do the exact same thing on the other side, and then you can go in front of them and either grab a little bit of from each side and bring it to the center just to make sure that it's even on both sides. And that is pretty much it. This client also um, told me more than once that she wants to make sure that the back and everything is cut very blunt and straight so she didn't want any texturizing, she didn't want any layers, she wanted everything to be as blunt as possible so that it could look as thick as possible so that's why I'm not doing any point cutting, any texturizing, any thinning, nothing. I'm just doing a straight blunt um, straight across haircut just so that we can keep it as thick as possible even though she doesn't have a lot of thick hair around her face, you still want to spend the time to make sure that the front is perfect and you are making sure you get each little hair so that it has a nice shape around the front too and that you get all those little hairs that because they need a little trim too to stay nice and healthy. So you want to spend um, a few minutes just making sure that it's all perfect around the face even though there's not too much hair around the front. I know a lot of hairstylists can um, just bypass all those little hairs because they think it doesn't matter but it really does matter and you need to make sure that you take the time to make sure that everything is perfect and now I'm just gonna show you guys how I styled her hair I always do my curls with my flat iron um, because my hair personally if I curl my hair with a curling iron it does not hold at all so I've always used my flat iron to curl people's hair because that is what I find holds the best curl. I can wake up for 3-4 days and still have curl left in my hair whereas if I use a curling iron my hair will be flat within like the hour. So this is how I curl my client's hair. Um, I also don't use clips to section it off. I just grab a little piece of hair and then I curl it and then I grab the next one beside it and then I continue on around the head until I get to the center so when I start in the front as you can see I was curling everything back away from the face and then once I get to the center of the head here then I start curling the opposite way as I head to the other side of the face because you want to have everything curled away from the face um, yeah so this is just the way I curl hair it's what I've always found the easiest and the fastest And if you guys wanted a tutorial, I could make a different tutorial on how to curl hair. A more in-depth tutorial. I just wanted to show you a little clip of how I styled their hair. So as you can see, um, this is the last piece that I'm curling that way. And then my next section, I'm going to be curling the other way because now I'm starting to go around to the other side of the head so everything I want curling away from the face on that side of the head so I switched which direction I was curling as you can see so I just wanted to point that out for you guys and then if there's any pieces that you aren't completely satisfied with you can always go around and just take little pieces out wherever you're not completely satisfied and just recurl it there's usually never too many but you can always go back and do that Oh my gosh, you guys, look how beautiful her hair looks. It looks so much thicker and so much healthier. We were both so, so happy with how it turned out. And it's literally so crazy the difference that it makes in taking all that length off for someone that has this type of hair. It looks like a beautiful style that's actually, it looks like an actual style now and not just someone that has like long, thin hair. It looks like a beautiful hairstyle and we couldn't be happier with it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you got some inspiration if you were looking for some kind of a change if you have thin hair and you're looking for a way to make your hair thicker and fuller and just more of a cohesive hairstyle you should definitely try doing something like this you will not regret it I promise um, so yeah leave any comments down below if you have any more questions about anything and I would be so happy to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye!